Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. This week, let's talk about the principle of social proof. Simply stated, the greater the number of people who believe in an idea, the more the rest of us will believe it too. Sounds like it makes sense, but here's the catch. Even when we know an idea is false, we will still believe it if lots of other people do, and we feel that peer pressure. How do we know this? TV sitcoms. For years, these things have had laugh tracks on them, and we know that the laugh tracks are not related to the TV sitcom. They've just pumped up the laughter for particular jokes. And they've done research on this stuff. They've played the sitcoms without the laugh track and measured the laughter of the audience, and then they've done the same thing, same sitcom, but they've put the laugh track in there and measured the laughter of the audience. People who heard the laugh track actually laughed more at the same jokes. We are influenced by the things that go on around us. The other thing that's important to know is that once we hold an opinion, we go out there and we look for proof that this opinion is correct, and we also disregard proof that the opinion is incorrect. So what does this mean for us as business people? Here's a story. I know a company lost hundreds of millions of dollars, laid off lots of people, and then they had moved into a new corporate headquarters and years before they had collected a corporate art collection and they were ready to install this, but they just laid off all these people. So what did they do? They decided to put it all up the week between Christmas and New Year's when fewer employees would be around. As if people wouldn't notice when they came back in January that there were weird paintings and sculptures all over. And the lightning rod was a painting called, I kid you not, Naughty Betty and the Pickle. It was actually the painting of a chimpanzee with a pickle coming out of the side of its head. Fast forward about three years. I am taking a tour of the corporate headquarters. Some employee takes me to an out-of-the-way place and points out the Naughty Betty picture and says, we are still calling HR and tell them to sell the monkey painting and bring back Joe. What was going on is that employees believed that management of this company thought the corporate art collection was more important than employees, which means that they were looking for social proof over those three years that this was the case, and they were still talking about it. What does this mean for us? It means that people will believe anything that more people believe. It's hard to change that mindset. So number one, make sure you're not believing things that you shouldn't believe in just because lots of other people are. The old lemming idea. And second, if you have to combat this stuff, Frankly, be straightforward with bad news. Because when you do these things, you'll become the most persuasive person in the room. Thanks for watching.